nigga right here, D's Nuts. Remember him? This is the D's Nuts guy in 2015, sharing a stage alongside Kendrick Lamar. Nah, that was dope. Kendrick and wrote this, this nigga out. This is him in 2019. Hi. I'm the internet anarchist. I create weekly YouTube documentaries, and today we'll be looking at the man behind the iconic D's nuts meme, his meteoric <laughs> rise to fame, and the one that was funny though. His life. In 2011, Welvin Harris would create his first Instagram account, Welvin the Great, and would begin his online journey by uploading photos and videos of himself at work or just hanging out with friends. The content he put out wasn't anything special, but it just seemed like Welvin enjoyed sharing parts of his life with the internet. Over the following four years, he continued uploading consistently, but he didn't see any notable growth on the platform. And to everybody watching at the time, it seemed like things would simply remain that way. But fortunately for Welvin, they didn't. As by early March 2015, a famous Instagram model by the name of Dre Michelle discovered his page and reposted his Who Ain't Got No Bitches video to her Word. account. Who ain't got no bitches? I remember that one right here. I could press that nigga like, hey nigga, I do got more bitches than you. What's your ugly ass? Within minutes, the video would gain over 20,000 likes and hundreds of comments, leading to many of Dreya's 3 Damn. million followers to support Welvin and his page. And within less than 24 hours, his account had surpassed over 40,000 followers. Other celebrities Sheesh. like Kevin Hart and Martin Lawrence had followed Dreya's lead, sharing Welvin's videos to their extremely large audiences. The internet was a different nah, place was... back then. A short... Nah, the internet back then, I ain't gonna front. There's a lot of celebrities that made people just by a repost. And I ain't out front. Them shits felt so genuine that they just fuck with that with whatever content that person made and just post it out of nowhere randomly. And it blew up a lot of careers, man. I ain't out front. That shit dope videos like this would take over the internet and Welvin's internet fame was only just beginning as on the 20th of March 2015 Welvin uploaded his iconic D's nuts prank call video a video that would dramatically boost his online notoriety and define his career D's nuts <laughs> <laughs> got him <laughs> got him <laughs> <laughs> oh whoa <laughs> <laughs> the video would go on to be reposted, edited, and yeah. hundreds of thousands nah, of times. Nah, you go at that time. That shit was funny as a motherfucker. effectively become a living meme. Two short months later, Welvin would hit one million followers. And his life... That's a saying was everybody was saying. Even till this day, Welvin, honestly. Lefty, I think people still say that shit. This was their lucky break, and the two intended to make the most of it. In the weeks following Welvin's newfound fame, numerous celebrities and influencers would associate themselves with his newfounded brand. Exclusive parties, one-on-one -on -one interactions with pop stars and guest appearances on high-profile podcasts became common occurrences for Welvin. A previously unknown creator was now rubbing shoulders with famous musicians like Kendrick Lamar, DJ Khaled, and DJ Vlad, and Welvin relished every second of it. His brand got even bigger when Kendrick Lamar paid tribute to him on Taylor Swift's music video Bad Blood and even brought him out on stage on Hot 97's Summer Jam. As Welvin's fame and popularity grew, his relationship with his manager Lefty would grow more and more until they were ultimately inseparable. Lefty would accompany him to various shows, interviews, and events. And to most of Welvin's audience, it seems like Lefty was more interested in the limelight and making money, rather than helping his friend grow his brand. Mm, and nah, that's... Even more apparent See, one thing about this shit right here, niggas is always a hater. They always want more than what they what they have. Like, I, I ain't got front. The fact that Mel Welvin met, made it this nigga wouldn't even make it if, if it wasn't for Melvin. Can't be greedy, my nigga. You can't be greedy, bro. Current in one of their many interviews. A video game. You gotta see out. a man's eat, Word? my nigga. Yeah. What is it called? It called these nuts. No, really, it's called these nuts. <laughs> it's called these nuts. No, I thought he had him on that one. Oh. That's not a joke. That's really, that's really not the game. These nuts. <laughs> Oh, uh, like, come on, man. We go this shit out. <laughs> no, for real. I, we we had to name it these nuts. You gotta do it, okay? These so, what, what's the concept of the game? Man? It's uh, it's similar to uh, Subway Surfer. You know what I'm saying? But in the game, you collect the nuts. You get out. Hey, the wall, you yo, the, the guy. Oh, is my guy?
sleep. It's all his sound bites. Mm. And it has the 3D image of uh, him. He pull up, you know what I'm saying? Because he, he chasing the chick. Mm. You know what I mean? So that's, that's his whole thing. Right now, we've been discussing, we've been filming for the TV show. So we got a few uh, few looks there for the TV show. And then we got a big thing coming up in a couple months that I'm working on right now. I, I won't name it because somebody might try to beat me to it. So you like officially a manager? That's what's yeah, up. It's real. It's real now. I got other people that's contacting me to manage them. At okay. the time, it didn't seem to bother Welvin or anyone watching, so it was swept under the rug. Welvin monetized his popularity by charging between four thousand five hundred and forty thousand dollars to attend. I guess he wasn't really hating. He rugs. just wanted to peak, expand anyone, his. Everyone wanted a piece of Welvin, and he was more than willing to oblige. His business, however, what comes I should up say. must come down. And in the coming months, Welvin's life would he take wanted more clients. Turn. In late 2015, numerous assault allegations were leveled against Welvin. And Damn. rumors began making rounds online. Some news sites even claimed that he was taken into police custody. However, Welvin managed to clear his name in an interview with DJ Flat. And I remember there was a, a rumor, I think, like after that night at the open mic, that you got arrested or oh, something no. like that. Well, clear that up. I, I didn't get arrested. He, he, he never been arrested. Never. It was from some site we've never even heard of. And Man, they tried to tear that man down. Is, he was posting pictures at the time the story coming out, and his last name isn't Harris. So okay. that was like, and then I, I highly doubt a detective would ever describe him as a no bitch student chump. Just on <laughs> too believable. But I mean, uh, uh, after 900,000 followers in exactly two months, I'll probably, I have haters too. Damn, 900,000 so, so in exactly shit. two months is crazy, yeah, crazy bro. I ain't got front. Right. That's fire. Because I, I was like, because I looked at it and said, oh shit, I was just there. I was just with him. And now he got arrested? Like, when did this happen? I haven't been arrested. No, so all that is bullshit. Yeah. Even though these allegations were false, they still had an impact on his career. Many people didn't see that interview, so they just continued to assume that Welvin was guilty. And in the coming months, Welvin would experience a sharp decline in popularity, despite having his own reality show, brand deals, and making several appearances on skits and shows. Damn, the haters is real with these people on the, on the internet, bro. Welvin didn't know it yet, but his 15 minutes of fame were running out. There's no the last reason. Major spike in Dizot's online popularity was during the 2016 presidential election when an independent candidate registered in the 9% in North Carolina and single digit percentiles in other states. However, this would be the last time that Welvin would truly enjoy the limelight, as later that year, Welvin's Instagram account would fall prey to an online phishing attempt <coughs> and be hacked. And in less than a day, Welvin had lost everything he had built up over the Shit. previous six years. A couple months later, on the 26th of August, Welvin created a new Instagram account and would attempt to recover the fame that he had recently lost. But unfortunately for Welvin, this wouldn't go as planned, as his new account would barely be able to reach 100,000 followers. And whilst this may sound like a lot to the average person, this was nowhere near the level of success that he once had. Due to nah. Welvin's fame being a result of other celebrities promoting him, he wouldn't be able to harvest scam likely be fucking. And although Welvin continued they be scamming the shit out of niggas' Instagrams. To obscurity. Fast forward three years to 2019, when Welvin would once again become the subject of online discussion, but this time not for the reasons you would expect. Rumors began circulating of his past yeah, I didn't see that one. after a video was shared of him unconscious on a sidewalk. Damn, that's sad, bro. On the 21st of August 2021, Welvin and his cousin uploaded a YouTube video to dispel the rumors surrounding his passing. I'm alive and I'm okay. They say he, they say he died for. Nah, come on, blogs. Rumors about Welvin being dead. He is very much alive and well. Welvin has a family that loves and care about him. Um, he hasn't had any dealings with Lefty in a in a lot of in a long time. So. You know, I wish all these women would I stop, but I wish you guys would just leave Welvin alone, stop bullying him on these streets. Just, you know, let him live the life that he want to live. Welvin is, he has a family that loves and wants to take care of him, but Welvin chooses to go off for days at a time. He has a home to come to. He comes home, he rests right. for a couple of days, he go back out in the street. There's nothing nobody can do about it. There's nothing we can do about it. We don't want that for him, but this is something that he wants to do. 
So yeah. all these rumors oh, yeah. about him being dead. My cousin is right here. He's alive and well. Yeah. Yeah, hold on, Brody. Give me one second. Look back at the amount of money and fame amassed during his prime. That level of success should have been enough to set him up for life and at least keep him off the streets. This leads many to assume that Welvin's manager, Lefty, had stolen from him and left him penniless. You and think the so? fact that Lefty no longer associated with Welvin after he lost everything only makes this more plausible. However, more videos of Welvin roaming the streets of California would surface, and a few people that saw him decided that it'd be funny to bully and assault the former celebrity at his lowest point. Oh, Is what? Bro, leave me the fuck alone, bro. bro. Yeah, bro, bring your ugly ass here, bro. Bro, why are you bullying the nigga? What the fuck? Melvin is mostly active on TikTok, where he posts videos of himself out partying or doing challenges. And it would be on this same page where he would address the videos of him sleeping out in the street, claiming that he was simply too drunk. Yeah, that's what I was say too. He looked like he was slumped. My boy, man, I hope he all right, man. It's hard to imagine that a creator that was once acknowledged by the right. and was paid to attend exclusive events is now struggling to stay afloat and clinging on to whatever little relevancy he has left. If you enjoyed this video, you might definitely did, man. Screen. Definitely Thanks did. For watching. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe, comment below, you feel me? Holla at me, deuces.